Oh, another interesting question from Ego. Which modern nation do you believe is the most atheist republic in the world? What? Okay. I'm not we entirely sure to... what this means. Is there a country that I'm I'm going to interpret this question as is what modern nation most carries our our, our principles in this world? Oh, okay like enlightenment well okay so just to be clear atheist republic is not just um atheism okay atheism is nothing but a lack of belief in god so atheist republic is more than just a lack of belief in god we atheist republic is atheism um and also the, the values that we as part of this organization have okay also like we're not like the atheist plus movement who is trying to add things to atheism, right? Like, no, atheism is just a lack of belief in God, okay? But we as an organization, we also obviously have values beyond just that, okay? We're not trying to redefine atheism, okay? So, and the values that we have include, like, many things that people usually refer to as enlightenment values, right? So I guess if you're asking which country in the world is, like, best representative of enlightenment values... I would have to go with, well, hmm. Uh, obviously, it's either going to be uh, in a country in either North America or Western Europe, right? So I would say France. What do you think? Honestly, I mean, not, I'm going mean, to have to think about this for longer. Hmm. I, I Again, I'm not going to, that doesn't mean that we endorse everything France does, okay? And France. also, we're talking about France now, okay? Don't like if you go just a few years back, look at France's crimes in the in Africa. Like we, yeah, like no, 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 right? So, and also France still does many things wrong, but I'm just talking about maybe the best one so far. Okay, so I would say France. Or well, maybe mm -hmm. some people are saying Germany. No, Germany, Germany has too many restrictions. I mean, France, for example, you can't burn the French flag in France. Exactly. Can you, right? Yeah, so that, you can't again, but, the national anthem, it's bullshit. All right, so a mix of a mix of France and United States and Canada and Germany. Like okay, so <laughs> France's secularism, France's secularism, United States freedom of speech, um, Canada's inclusive inclusivity, openness to uh, other to other people. So Canada's inclusivity, United States freedom of speech, France's um, secularism. secularism, Germany's, um, I don't know what you're, actually let's go to the Scandinavian countries. Who would we pick um, for, who would we pick as a model for free markets? What country? Yeah, well, well not completely free, but I think the Scandinavian countries will be there, our economic model, right? So we go probably go to like, uh, yeah, Norway and maybe like Finland and Sweden. I mean, not Sweden. Yeah, but like a mix of them, index mix of those um, for economics um, and also for social safety nets. We go with that. But what would we go for? What, what, we, what would we go to Germany for? We should pick something from Germany. Why? Why? Why do we have to? I don't know, because they've been successful for in so many things. It must be a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> they're, culturally, they're very efficient. They're very yeah. into efficiency. I think that's part of it. That's what, yeah. when I went to Germany, that's something that really struck me, how everything in public life was so efficient. I was like, What's, what the heck? <laughs> mm -hmm. and somebody's saying Germany science. I mean, technically, the, the, the things that we're promoting will create an environment where science would flourish, like like science would like good science would be a byproduct of all this. Um, <laughs> sorry, saying Saudi Arabia and the rights of women. Of women. Okay, sure. <laughs> um, Germany's research, like a lot of people are talking about Germany's research and scientific capabilities. I guess. Yeah. I mean, that just comes as, as a natural result of having a good economy, right? So what led them to there? Um, yeah, so I have to figure out, yeah. Atheist Republic needs your help. <laughs> <laughs>
We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.